makes it smaller than the other one. Oh, no, that one's magnetic. Here's a little loose bead. Uh, it's from a slider bracelet. Isn't that pretty? That's going in a craft lot. And this is an earring. Not sure how it opens. Let's say I'm very clueless. Hoop earring. It's magnetic. It's pretty and I'm not sure how it opens. It's got that diamond cutting, which makes it pick up the shine of the metal. That's pretty. There it goes. It goes like that. I could see a little rivet thing there. And then it goes in like that. Here's a little post earring with a black faceted plastic bead. Here's a beaded bracelet with a butt, button closure. These feel like wood, painted wood. Paid uh, about thirty cents. Real happy with it so far. Hope it gets better. Here's a pretty necklace, and it's a nice length. It's magnetic, but it's a nice one to put a pendant on. Here's a pretty little gold tone and silver bracelet. It's got a um, toggle clasp. I love the little sparkly beads. And then your flat colored gold tone beads. It's a pretty little bracelet. There, Mr. Snowman. Oh, and he's a scarf clip. Well, that's cute. And the um, enamel on it's perfect. I'm real happy with that. This is got some issue here where it's coming apart. It's made in Indonesia. It's a little snap bracelet. It'd be good in a junk journal. Cut it up. Here's um, stretchy beaded. You could probably put that on your ankle very easily. These beads are pretty. They're acrylic, but they're a nice heavy acrylic. Made to look like stone. They're a little cool. I like those. That would be good in a craft lot, I think. Just gonna put my craft lot over there. Okay, this is craft lot. And that's gonna be craft lot. Here's another. Chain, a mega chain. It's got a fold over clasp. And I don't see any markings on it. The 
Looks like it's got an issue right here. There's too much space there. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not exciting. That's cute. Little gecko. Little charm or pendant. Whichever zipper pull. All of the above. This has got inlay in it. It's copperish in color. It's got some metalware on it. need to weed out this jewelry as I do it, not try to save everything or to say I'm going to fix it or whatever. This is another little player's bracelet for a little girl. Little flowers. The flowers have little stones. Little study rings, black and uh, gray, charcoal gray. Here's a cuff bracelet. It's got that pebbled cobblestone road look to me. Needs cleaning, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Here's a post earring. Sometimes you get these earrings out, the rest comes together. These are cute little earrings. I think I'm getting hungry. Must be getting close to supper time. USA, little polar bear. Here's that other earring. Pair. Gotta keep those together. Oh, here's some little orange beads with the spring ring clasp. Sunset orange color. They're a little bit, little bit more oranger than what you're seeing in the screen there. At least on my computer. Oh, here's an earring, a brass earring. There's the back. There's no discoloration. Here's a little pearl earring on a French wire. It's a lighter gray, per gray pearl. Here's a little bow bracelet. It's in a gunmetal color. The black here matches the bow. Here's a little girl's bracelet. Feels like it's made of aluminum. Put that in the jar for Fiona. Okay, here we go. I knew that was either an earring or a pendant piece. Here's that other leaf. This one's on a French wire. So if you put the other one on a French wire, you'd have a matching set. And it's got a, like the little green patina on it. This is the underside. It's in great, um, the metal's in great shape. I like that. I like leaves. 
Who else likes leaves? Here's a little earring. I don't know what that is. Must be some kind of glass. It's signed on the bottom. Pisces. Not heard of that brand. This is called Pisces. Here is a little stud earring. I mean, not stud, a little post earring. You've got a textured bar here and the others are smooth. There's no discoloration. This looks to me to be, um, I don't know, it smells kind of silvery too. Stainless steel. Put it over there to be tested. Here's that other earring, post earring, to this earring. Here is the other pearl earring, I think these, yeah, these two go together. And they're real pearls. And this is a little wired earring, with a little pearl here. It smells like silver too, so I'll have to test it. Here's some little post earrings, black and white polka dots. They're acrylic, very cute, that's the back. Good and clean. Here's a little, feels like stone or either glass bracelet. Got little beads in between. It needs cleaning. It's got a little extender with a bead on the end and it is tagged. Tag is EE. -E. I don't know what that is. So if anybody knows what EE -E is, let me know. Wow, this is a wowser. There's a pendant, little heart. There's a little red stone there. This is copper, brass, and silver, and there's rhinestones here. There's the word love there, and there's little hearts. There's rhinestones here, here. That's beaded. Here's the back. Need a good collar necklace for that. A real heavy, um, or you could do pearls, because it's the bell is so big. That's pretty. That design of that heart is very pretty. Here's some little acrylic earrings. It has the, um, looks like gold leafing in there. Blues and greens and black. Not sure what this, oh, this looks like it's come off. So I don't know what was there. Cause that's too rough. That's damaged. Here's a little beat up. Um, it's a shell and they painted it and you need to get the paint off because it's coming off. Anyway, and there's the clasp with the extender, the spine, the sea beads, and the little um, pearl chip beads. Are Fine. It's just, um, let me see if I can move that over a little bit. Yeah, to center it. Why it's not wanting to center here. 
But anyway, that's a this just needs to be fixed. Heard the paint taken off. If you have the time to do it. Here is a hoop earring. It looks to be silver tone. There's another French wire earring. Sorry, y'all are seeing the back of my hands again. This is acrylic, I mean, this is enamel in there. There's the back. Here's a little star with little rhinestones in it. Very pretty. Smells like silver. I'll look at it real quick, see if I see any markings. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I need to get some water. Okay, all the rhinestones are there. I don't see any marks on it. Hold on, I gotta get something to drink, guys. Okay, I am back. Here's another earring. It's more of a dark metal, like a gun metal. Here's another little earring with the little beads. Oh, what? Yeah, while well, y'all were gone, I dumped the whole bag. While I was gone, getting something to drink, I dumped the whole bag out. Here's a triple hoop earring in gold tone. Yeah, yeah this is. Here's that other brass earring. So I got a set of those. This is a pretty little necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp and an extender with a little bead. And then you have these pearl-like, now the beads have some wear on them. And so does the flower, but the design is pretty. Here's a cuff, made in India, Mark 1495. The inside's in good shape, but it's been bent here. Here's a little hoop earring with a hammered look. Oh, that's cute. Here's a little charm. It's a giraffe with rhinestones and black and yellow. Here's the back and it's marked back here. It's marked SU and then TN, I think. I don't know what that means. SUTN. If I can get this out, it's rusted. The extender is rusted. And it is a hook. Maybe it's not rusted, but it's brassy. 
and it needs, needs polishing. Very small necklace and green beads. Here's the other little pearl earring. Here's a little piece, brassy, antique gold or brassy color, piece bracelet, cuff. Here's the other hoop. I know I had another one in there like that. Let's see if that's the matching one. I don't know if that matches or not. I'm going to keep them aside in case there's another one. Here's a little beaded pendant. It's got some cleaning that needs there. A little lobster claw, double lobster claw clasp. Clip back earring with small turquoise seed beads. There's no signatures. That's the back. These is diamond cut all the way around so it really picks up the light when you move it. And these are all prong set rhinestones. There's the back. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, now I'm excited. This looks like um, Domicene. It's missing a stone here. Now I'm not so excited. It is a box clasp. The safety chain. And I hope the other piece is in the bottom here. Or that I can find something to fix that with. Here's another hoop. You're not liking for hoops in this bag. Here is, I think, an anklet with a little turtle. Very cute. Be cute for the beach or by the pool or out with a sundress and sandals. It's adorable. Here's another stretchy bracelet with love on it. And these are orange. More of a sherbet orange color. Here's a hoop earring and a gold tone. That's what it looks like from this angle. Here's a little clip on. No signature on the back. Feel the acrylic. And I don't think you can take the, that out of it. That's just part of it, I think. It's kind of carved in, cut into. There's a little butterfly. There's the back. It's on a suede cord. You've got an extender with a bead, and it's a tiger's eye bead, and it's XC. I don't know if anybody knows that brand. It smells like it's silver, too. That 
butterfly. Let's see if I can get this untangled. It won't show well if I don't untangle it. There we go. French wire. And then this was tangled up in it. This is one of those threader earrings with some orange beads on the bottom. It's cool. Here's some more hoop earrings. Here's that other earring to match the clip. Let's see if I see it in here. I've got too many non-matching earrings now. It's making it harder to find them. This is something else. Here is a barrel clasp necklace with stone beads. And I believe this is wood. These are wood beads. And these are little stone beads. They're cold. They look like the leopard agate. Some of them do. Very pretty. Here is a stretchy bracelet from rhinestones and silver tone backing. And they're all there. Me some little bling going. Here's a little statement necklace in that real pretty green. It's like a Caribbean green, blue, green. There's no blue in it, but you see sometimes in the ocean. Very pretty color. Here's another hoop. Is these two, but this one's got wear on it, so yay, these two don't. Here's a stretchy bracelet with some charms on it. There is Spirit, and this looks like, made to look like it's uh, geode in there. There's a heart, a star. Another heart with love on it, and the little heart with the rhinestone. These are glass beads on here too. Here is a little post earring, the red um, marquee, and then your gold tone heart. Some filigree work in here. Okay, we have this ring. It's got CZs on both sides running down the shank. It's like a princess cut. 
And it's got some stuff in here, so let me read it. I'm trying to read it. It's a Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia. Oh, I found another little turtle. Little charm. White turtles. Can I show it to y'all? It's one of the sea turtles, too. We have a lot of sea turtles on our beach. Here is a hoop. It's very lacy. Oh. It's like a gold nugget with the stuff you use to hunt gold with. I don't know if it's real. We will get our magnet out. Nope. Everything's magnetic. But it's cute. It's a little pendant. There's the pendant part. Cute. Now this is not magnetic at all, so it could be gold or silver. If I see anything on it. Let's see the number. Let's see the letter S or it's either a two or an S. I'm not sure. Whatever that thing is. Those are pretty though. another bangle and this is my what I'm drinking today cheers